Tonight at 11 on KCRA 3. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to sell peanuts at Rayleigh Field, but one of the park vendors is. Then, women required to work in high heels. California's news leader. You're watching KCRA TV, where the news comes first. At home of Live Copter 3, this is KCRA 3 Reports at 11. A soggy start to the Rivercats' first home game, but nothing could dampen the spirits of fans celebrating the return of baseball to the River City. Good evening, I'm Lois Hart. And I'm Dave Walker. It rained, it poured, it thundered. But just in time for the opening pitch, the skies cleared to let the sun and the river cats shine. And the only thing falling from the sky is skydivers parachuting onto the field for the opening pitch. We have live team coverage tonight. Meteorologist Mark Finan with more on that soggy start today. And KCRA's Ron Jones live with the battle of getting to the ballpark. But first, KCRA's Anita Vogel. Anita? Rain stop any of the fun out there tonight? Dave, I don't think anything could have stopped the fun here tonight. The weather did get the evening off to a shaky start, but the skies cleared, and then fans proceeded to fill every seat in this stadium for the opening night of Rayleigh Field. Things didn't look so good early on. Sheets of unrelenting rain threatened opening night, but Rivercats fans never let their spirits or anything else get dampened but we're just excited to be here. I was born and raised here, and we're just excited. This has been the best thing since the inauguration of the city. It's a tad bit damp out there, yeah. but we're cleansing the field before we baptize it. That's what it is. Finally, the rainbow provided a sign that perhaps there really was a silver lining that revealed a field of dreams and a game that must go on. It's been, uh, what, 25 years in the making? Uh, finally, Sacramento has got up to the big leagues. Everybody's in a good mood. Everyone's behaving real well. And we have some good professional baseball on the field. Baseball on the field and plenty of food in the stands. Fans say the stadium is a home run for Sacramentans, no matter where you sit. Well, obviously, I picked the, the perfect seats. This, uh, These are the best run. seats in the whole place. How come? Because uh, <laughs> they're the ones that I was assigned. <laughs> Baseball's back, baby. Woo! Baseball is back, and Rivercats fans say they never doubted it would start tonight. They wouldn't stop this in West Sacramento, even if a tornado came through here, because uh, Mark Finan on the 430 News said, even though it's raining, we're still playing ball, and we came up. Kudos to Mark Finan for his forecast. And as you can see behind me, the crew is now putting the stadium to bed for the night. As for the final score, the Rivercats did go down to the Trappers 2-1. to one. We'll have more on that in sports. But, you know, the real winners tonight are the people of Sacramento. They got to break in this new stadium. And tonight's sold-out game is now a part of the city's history. Live at Rayleigh Field, I'm Anita Vogel. Dave, back to you. Anita, thank you. And the start of the Rivercats home season means hundreds of employment opportunities. And while... You don't have to be a rocket scientist to work at the stadium. One Sacramento man is and has his own theories about that by day. Dave well. Hillier works as an engineer for Aerojet, building rocket engines for the Titan and Delta rocket series. But Hillier also has another passion. You guessed it, baseball. He is as excited about his second job, moonlighting, as a vendor at most of the Rivercats home games. He says he's always loved well, baseball, and so fun. this is a way to get involved. Moving on the go, up and down steps. It's, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. So I don't know what my expectations were, but I'm at the ballpark, so what could be better? There you go. And before uh, watching the game tonight, of course, the fans had to just get to the stadium. There was some concern about traffic and parking. We go live doing live reports during the game. Hope you'll tune in. Television premiere. Should be fun. Tonight. Always like yeah. those debuts. One of the hardest jobs in Rayleigh Field is off the diamond and in the stands. We're talking, of course, about the food and drink vendors. And while most are college students looking for a little extra cash, we found one vendor who breaks the mold in a big way. Snow cones. Selling snow cones at Rayleigh Field okay, might not you. seem like game. rocket science. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Except to Dave Hillier. You see, Dave Hillier really is a rocket engineer. No kidding around. In fact, when he told his friends and co workers at Aerojet what he wanted to do, they couldn't believe it. Most of them thought I was crazy, but uh, a few of them, you know, you can tell that they think maybe they'd like to do the same thing. 
Hillier, who oversees the section of the Air Force's Titan rocket project, saw an ad for vendors in the newspaper. His first love is rockets. His second is baseball. So he decided to go for an interview, which made for an interesting afternoon at the River Cats front office. Snow cones. I walked out of the interview room and we went into the back where we kind of meet up and talk about who we've interviewed and said, hey, we've got a rocket scientist. And all of us started laughing and, you know, just discussing the different people that have come in and applied. Snow cones. Hillier isn't the only overqualified candidate working the stands at Rivercats games, but he's probably the most high profile. He admits it's been fun, but it's also been a lot of hard work as well, especially on those hot afternoons. I get a good workout, <laughs> uh, and I, I get the enjoyment of being at the ballpark for the day or for the evening, but I'm not doing it for the money. Uh, it's, it's more for the enjoyment of being at the ballpark every day, and uh, I, it's just a terrific place. Uh, I like being here. Today's a hot one, and Hillier's snow cones are selling fast. So fast, it makes it hard to catch any of the ball game. So, how much of the cats does he actually get to watch? None. Uh, really, the, the, that would be the wrong approach. A lot of how well you do in sales depends on how motivated you are. And if you watch the game, you know, your sales are going to falter somewhat. Change to 17. Thank you. Okay, $9. Nice guy, Fine. Dave. And uh, w when we were there shooting that story, uh, he had a, you know, maybe 20, 25 snow cones. They were gone in about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. So there's not a lot of time to sit and watch the game, but it's still a lot of fun, and he said it gets, it's a great workout. What a kick. What a kick. Marcus Allen is up in the entertainment balcony. You're going to be at it really.